Hey guys and welcome back to Epic Game Feed. I'm your host Madrid and we are checking out my energy growth deck. Um, my kind of Gravelock deck I guess. Um, so here's what's in it. I have three Gravelock Raiders, three Gravelock Elders, and two Gravelock Outcasts. Um, let's see, what else do I have as for creatures? I have two Iron Ogres, and three Sister of the Foxes, and that is it. That's it for creatures. A total of 13 creatures. Um, I also have 12 structures, and they are Tribal Memorial. That helps me get my growth up. Um, Charge Coil. I only have two of these. Um, that is for usually for distraction, but it's pretty good against order um, to, di to distract them, really. Um, make them go after them, and if they don't go after them, it's pretty devastating when I get two of them out. Um, then I have two clock libraries. I found that when I have three in my hand, it kind of um, gives me too many dead hands, so I went down to two, and same with the Aether Pump is a distractionary measure slash wall, a zero five that hits everything for one every three turns, and sometimes it doesn't get to that sometimes it does um, but it's more or less a blocker for me if they don't go after it, it sucks for them um, because they will lose um, and then I have the three sand packed memorials for the extra energy and that's it um, and then I have 21 spells um, that includes two iron whips two sparks Three in front or two inferno blasts, three burns for the because I like the draw it does and it does a decent amount of damage. Two concentrate fires. I think this is the first deck that I've showed you with concentrate fire in it, and I've used it before in some of my decks that I've just played around with, and this is pretty awesome. I really like it. Um, the first game I played, I used it and it saved me i ended up winning second game i didn't use them and i ended up losing and then the third game if you watched uh the video right before this one it was i used it at the end um but pretty fun to use with the uh elders as they are my only ranged so yeah that's why i only have two um I don't know why I was talking about the con oh yeah and then um, two thunder surges I don't like putting three in my deck because it's such high cost two violent dispersals again same reasoning um, two illthorn seeds the reason I do this is I can put one of these um, tribal memorials in the middle lane and then put an illthorn seed on it and it takes them two times to get by plus they'll take damage from the illthorn when it goes out um, kind of cool and let's see fertile soil pretty self-explanatory i put two in my hand i don't like getting those a lot um early in the game um later in the game i usually end up getting it so yeah um two unleash inner powers these are fun to use on the raiders once i have a gravelock elder out so basically the raider gets up to like if i have two out he gets up to for health and I put that on him he also has three attack so he goes up to like a 7-2 um, that has relentless kind of cool combo um, I have two rallyings that I have used a couple times not sure if I want to keep them in the deck or not um, and two quakes uh, first deck with quake in it and it is fun to use I used it on the first game I played and it saved me um, besides that I have not used it again, um, but I'm sure that if someone got ahead of me, a nice quake or a nice thunder surge with a quake could bring me back into the game, so that's why it's in there. Oh yeah, I will also be doing a Friday giveaway. Um, in this giveaway, instead of doing the one rare, I'm going to be doing two full packs to two random people who are subbed, and uh, the only hitch with this one is you have to comment on this video so um this is kind of a thanks to uh scrolls guide 
and uh, community and also uh, the Reddit community. I have uh, really gotten a lot of uh, good feedback from everybody and the everything they've put on the forums has really just helped me. So uh, thank you guys and good luck this next Friday. All right, let's check this game out. All right, I start off with a rallying, a a raider, a burn, unleashing her power, and a aether pump. I'm gonna get rid of the rallying. I can't really use much at the moment. I'm playing against a decoder. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of it for an order. Play the uh, gravelock raider and end my turn. Let's see what decoder has what you got decoder what you got um he is playing a energy deck so this shall be fun um a copper automate he plays a copper automation i'm hoping that he's gonna attack one of my idols with that i draw into a quake and i'm gonna get rid of it for some energy i can't really use the quake at the moment um oh let's see I had played um, one game before I start record re started recording with this deck before my other video with a one and two with a one defeat and one win. Um, the Quakes actually ended up winning me the games. I'm not sure if I still want them in there or if I want to take them out for something else. Um, let me know what I should do. Uh, it is kind of high up there in resources. Uh, so. Waiting for him to end turn. He plays a Gravelock Raider behind his automation. Puts a plating on. Um, and I believe... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the inner power for another energy to get the burn and to play on the Gravelock Raider. I don't notice the plating on the Raider. For some reason, I, I just missed it. I know it's a mistake. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the next card I draw for another energy. Um, ooh, I draw into a Sister of the Fox. That's kind of hard to get rid of. It's a good draw card, but whatever. Got rid of it. Play the burn. Whoops, there's a plating. Dang it. <laughs> um, so next turn, I'll start working towards the Sandpact Memorial. Um... We'll see what he plays now. So there was my first mistake, and that was really soon to make a mistake. He plays an Aether Pump, and I'm not liking that Aether Pump. Yuck. Oh, I get another burn. There we go. Take care of. Um, then I will sack the Violent Dispersal for a growth, and in turn, what you got, what you got, Decoder. What's coming up? He sacrifices for scrolls. And plays a Gravelock Outcast. It looks like I'm playing against a, a Gravelock deck. As you know from this deck, it does have a bit of Gravelock in it. I draw a Tribal Memorial. I'm going to... Yikes. I think I'm going to get rid of it for the growth. Play the Sand Pack Memorial down. Play the Aether Pump right behind it. And end turn. Let's see... Okay, so he has a Gravelock deck, basically, is what it looks like. And my deck is kind of a Gravelock deck. I have three Elders, um, two Raiders, and two Outcasts. And then I have uh, two Ogres. Uh, I get rid of the Concentrated Fire that I draw into. I draw a Gravelock Outcast and another Violent Dispersal. Violent Dispersal is kind of good for the getting rid of stuff, so... In turn, I was thinking maybe I'll use the Violent Dispersal on the Aether Pump. Uh, decoder sacrifices four cards, or resources, sorry. He has two cards in hand. What are those two cards? It looks like he's kind of doing the same thing with as me. He has the Aether Pumps. He has the... Um, he has the... Uh, what are they called? The coils he plays he plays a uh, what is that thing a scatter gunner and then in turn I'm gonna get rid of the spark and I draw into a gravelock elder that I put out in front 
And I also draw an Iron Ogre, which is pretty nice. I only have to, two turns to wait for that. I also have a Violent Dispersal coming up next turn. I'm going to regen my uh, Outcast to full by using one growth. And I wasn't sure before this game, but it you don't sacrifice the growth. Like, you still have it. So you just have to use that one growth to regen. So that's pretty powerful, I thought. Um, for a 3-4, when you get the Elder out, it's actually a 2-3. So it can be dealt with pretty easily. Uh, but nice to have that ability on it. And now that I think about it, the uh, Gravelock Elder and Outcast are pretty good to use against like a uh, a energy energy growth deck draw deck that uses quakes a lot. You can just keep regening your uh, Outcast. Ooh, and I draw into another Elder. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Iron Ogre for, and I'm gonna violent dispersal the Aether Pump. I probably could have waited a turn and put the Gravelock Elder out. But I don't. Um, my Aether Pump's about to go out. Go off, I mean. I'm going to take out his uh, Raider. And hopefully his Scatter Gunner sits there and at attacks the Outcast instead of my Elder. Because I don't really want him to attack the Elder. He also put in a, um, a uh, Library. He uses the Library as a block a lot, which I think is a big mistake. Um, when you're playing energy versus energy, or if you're playing energy alone and you have libraries in there, they're your draw card. You keep them alive at all costs. Um, at least that's what I've learned. Uh, let me know if you have a different uh, opinion about it. He plays in a destroyer, which is going to kill my uh, aether pump. Um, drawn to another Gravelock Elder. Woohoo! Um... But I don't have anything else to sacrifice, and I want to sacrifice for something. I draw, so I sacrifice the Gravelock Elder for two more. Draw into an Iron Whip and a Tribal Memorial. I'm gonna play the Elder out and move the uh, the Outcast over so he doesn't die from the uh, Destroyer. Also regen it to full, so he's a four five now. And move him over so he doesn't get attacked by the. Uh, by the scatter gunner, I take out his library with my elder, and it is her, his turn. Let's see what decoder can do. Just checking out my guys. He sacrifices for resource. He's at six resource, three cards, and all of his idols are untouched. Plays a charge coil in the far right hand corner. I'm gonna have to move my guys over there to kill it. It's not that big of a risk, but I do not like it sitting there pinging me all game. So, I will kill it if I have to, but his other units are more important to me. I draw into an Iron Ogre. I'm going to get rid of the Iron Whip. I pick up a Quake and a Clock Library. Clock Library is awesome for me. I'm going to lose the Elder. Uh, there's no way I'm getting away with him, so I'm just going to leave him in his spot. Uh, I'm going to move the... Um, the outcast over to kill his outcast and play the library and the tribal memorial in front of the outcast so that he does not get hit by anything making sure not to get into the hexes of the destroyer his scattered gunner should kill the elder He sacrifices for scrolls instead this time. So he's at three scrolls, six energy. Plays a tick bomb on the library. Dang those tick bombs. They piss me off. Plays a scatter gunner to protect his uh, charge coil. Eh. I can see it being a decent move at the moment, um, but I wouldn't sacrifice too many units for that charge coil. I'm going to get rid of the quake, um, play an iron ogre over there. That should deter him from putting any other units in front of it. Uh, I'm going to move the outcast over so that his uh, outcast can't attack me. Uh, I kill the scatter gunner, and <laughs> Decoder says shit. I'm guessing he does not like the looks of that Iron Ogre. 
The good thing about the energy, though, is you always have those uh, violent dispersals, so easy to deal with, um, but it does take one of your turns to deal with it. Uh, so we shall see what he does. That um, the Destroyer, uh, not really messing with me too much. I can just move all my units out of the way. Um, if he was smart, he would have put the, uh, the coil over where his units are at already. Like, he put it way on the other side where pretty easy for me to get my units over there and start killing it. And it'd take him a while to get his units over there to protect it. I do have another Gravelock. I have a Gravelock Raider. I draw into a whip. Mm, could keep the whip for the ogre to attack when he's not suspecting, but... I want to keep the raider. I draw into a library and a spark. I get rid of his scatter gunner and play the library um, in front so I can put my outcast or so I can put the uh, raider behind it. I heal the outcast and I am out of cards. Um, trying to decide whether to move over or not to move over. Um, I decide to do it. He doesn't have any growth to regenerate his outcast so not that big of a deal for me um, his charge and it's his turn so his charge coil is going to hit something uh, let's see what he's going to do what are you going to do decoder plays a clock library Oh, and I think that's such a horrible move. He's basically sacrificing the clock library to protect this charge coil that does one random damage to stuff. I would just leave that charge coil alone, move all my stuff over to where my other units are, and start focusing on on idols or killing my units. I draw into a charge coil. I don't really want it. Um, I So I sack it for two, get an Inferno Blast and a Memorial. Going to Inferno Blast his units over there. Um, my elder's gonna hit his library, and I end turn. Library at 2 HP. Golem should fi finish off that, or the ogre should finish off his library and his charge coil, unless he puts something else out. He platings the... <laughs> that was a good move. Platings the library. I can still take the library out, but that means my golem's not gonna be able to do anything to but take off the plating unless I draw into something that will uh, take the plating off for me and at this point I was like oh maybe I should have saved that inferno blast oh well he ends turn charge coil hits my ogre ogre's down to four I draw into a fertile soil doesn't help me uh, get rid of it I'm gonna play the charge coil over in front of his destroyer Deciding whether to do it in the middle, but yeah, in the destroyer, I'm gonna move the L or the outcast over to kill his um, guy with two two. I don't even remember his name. I'll never use him. Play the Il Ilthorn seed on on the library, and there goes his library, and it's his turn. See what he plays. He sacrifices for scrolls. He's up to three scrolls. I have zero. Um, so next turn, I will sacrifice the first card I get for the two scrolls. He plays a... Uh, what's it called? A cannon. I'm just going to call it a cannon. I draw into a Thunder Surge. So I'm thinking I'm going to Thunder Surge the two there. Or should I wait? I don't think so. I'm just going to... Do that plan, play a Sister of the Fox to block for my outcast. Move the outcast over. He could move his two elders over to kill the outcast, but I'm not sure if he's going to. My charge coil hits one of the elders. <coughs> I think he's going to move it over to kill the library so it doesn't pop. Nothing I can really do about that. See if he drew into anything good. I 
Yep, he moves over. He's going to kill the library. Plays an Iron Ogre. Ah, going to be kind of hard to deal with. Would have been nice to save that Thunder Surge now. Um, yeah, would have been nice. Good news is I'm going to do three damage to his Ogre no matter what. I draw a Fertile Soil and a Rallying. I'm going to play the Inferno Blast. Move the Outcast over to hit his Golem. Move the, the Raider over to attack his uh, Elder. And end turn. <coughs> Oh, it's a spitter, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, sometimes I forget the names or slip of the tongue. Plays another clock library to block for the uh, <laughs> the charge coil. Oh, man. What mistakes. I think it's a huge mistake to do that. Um, I'd rather use the charge coil as bait to move my units away from where I want to go. But you can play it however you want. I think I get rid of the rallying, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have gotten rid of the Unleash Inner Power. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Fertile Soil the Fox, Sister of the Fox. Um, thinking about Unleashing Inner Power on the uh, Golem to take out that whole row. But what I could do instead is Unleash Inner Power on the Raider to make uh, him kill... Next turn to make him kill the um, to kill the go the ogre, and I'll move the ogre over to kill his um, his elders. There goes two elders that would have done four dam eight damage next turn, so I didn't want them doing that. I'm surprised I haven't seen a, seen a thunder surge yet. Some of my units have been getting clumped up like that. Um, would have been a nice move for him. So right now, if he doesn't move the ogre over one, it's dead. Plays a tick bomb on the um, charge coil. Not that big a deal. I'd rather him use that on the the charge coil than to use it on any, my library. So okay, so I draw into an aether pump. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm not too. I don't care about it right now. Um, trying to decide what to do. Um, I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna use the unleash inner power, but I want to see what I get. I draw into a burn and a grave lock outcast. Cool. Um, I actually could burn the golem but i think i'm going to decide to put the make the uh, raider a 5-2 maybe that will draw a burn his way instead of doing it on something else instead of doing it on the ogre or something like that so to 5-2 i still have for the burn i'm going to use on the charge coil and i draw into a concentrated fire which by the way i haven't used much of but I've been using it quite a bit lately in some of my decks, and I really like it. And there goes the Ogre. Um, it's really saved my butt a couple times. Um, I don't put in three in a deck because I feel like it makes me have too many dead hands. But the one or two that you put in your deck and you get them, man, it works nice. Especially with the Elders. So next turn, I can kill his Library to make sure that it doesn't pop. With, and I draw into a rallying. Woohoo! That's going to be fun to use. Um, so I'm going to play. Sis. No. I'm going to play rallying, then concentrated fire. And that takes out. I clear the board with that. Awesome. There goes uh, a full wipe. And I need to move my guys around so that he doesn't uh, hit me with anything devastating. I actually should have moved my gal my ogre back one so that he doesn't like thunder surge and get all three of those things. Um, but who knows? He hasn't used the thunder surge yet, so we'll see about that. Plays an aether pump. Not too worried about it. Takes too long. Drawn to a thunder surge. Um, I'm gonna play the sister of the fox. Got a charge coil. 
going to get rid of the Elthorn Seed for two. Yeah, drawn to two sparks, so I'm going to play the Charge Coil out in front to block for the Outcast and regenerate it to full. And position my guys, make my Elder come back that I should have done a while ago so that I can move him over if I need to. He's kind of trapped up there. <laughs> Decoder sacrifices for scrolls, burns the ogre, dang it, there goes my ogre, plays a useless contraption, how useless, and I draw into a burn, uh, I'm going to get rid of one of the sparks, draw into a concentrated fire, I'll probably spark the... Uh, more concentrated fire, yeah. I'm going to concentrated fire to kill the uh, Aether Pump. Uh, play the Tribal Memorial up top. And in turn. And my outcasts are in the bottom doing work. Doing work with their sister. Of the fox. <laughs> um... Okay, let's see what he draws into. He draws an Inferno Blast, kills the Sister of Fox, does some damage to uh, the other Outcast and the Charge Coil. I have a burn for that, so I'm not too worried about the uh, gun automaton. So I'm going to burn it. I have Unleash Inner Power ready as well. Um, I'll probably end up using that next turn on one of the Outcasts. Um, probably the bottom right one to take out his Idol. Just because I can. I also draw into another Gravelock Elder, so that's pretty nice. So far, what I like about this deck is once I get into late game, I have so many options. So he plays a Proximity Mines, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm, where I'm going to move my guys. And I'm like, oh yeah, got a Chain Lightning. Not too worried about it. So I'm going to Chain Lightning him. Um, and then Unleash Inner Power on my Outcast. And play the memorial down bottom right, bottom left. Sorry, um, I was thinking about putting it in the middle, but don't want that huge chain lightning going off or sorry, thunder surge. Um, unleash inner power on him, and then my gravelock elder is going to kill his raider, and he calls good game. It was. Um, so, guys, if you like this, um, make sure you comment at the bottom. Um, let me know what I can do to improve the deck or uh, if I can take anything out or put anything in. Um, I really like this deck. I'd like to make it competitive. It seems like it would be good competitive. Uh, yeah, uh, let me know. I haven't put in the other Gravelock that is a growth Gravelock. I feel like um, I don't use growth until late game so it'd be kind of a waste for me uh, all right guys that's it for me um thanks for watching um and come back next time make sure you comment at the bottom if you want to participate in that um friday giveaway of the two 1000 pack giveaways that is a whole pack for each for two people two random people who comment on this video you must be a subscriber Alright, good luck guys, and see you guys next time. Peace.